there's a, an emotional and spiritual maturity that comes with knowing God and confessing our wrongdoings. Look, I don't understand how we can have the Holy Spirit. Listen, unless it's pride. The only thing is pride. How can we have the Holy Spirit for years and years and years and do something bad to a brother or sister in Christ or somebody and years go by and you have never, you've never come and said, I'm sorry. Listen, the Holy Spirit, when he does, when he says something to me, look, I could say something like, you know, you, you just that if I get smacky with somebody, the Holy Spirit will gently be like, Jackie, daughter, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have said that. That's not right. That's not loving. I would be like, God, you're so right. <sighs> the conviction, conviction, godly sorrow leads us to repentance, not condemnation, godly sorrow. God speaks to me right away and he tells me, Jackie, that's not good. Or later that night, he'll tell me that wasn't right. I can't live with myself in peace being in sin. When I was smoking cigarettes and I was backslidden from the Lord, I could not be in peace. Let me tell you, I was crying. I was like, Jesus, oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I just, I need, I need to be free. When uh, Lance and I were struggling in our relationship before we got married, which is why we got married, when we were struggling to keep the purity, you know, I would get home and start crying and begging on my knees, God, help us. Tell us what to do. Do you want us to get married? Give me confirmation. Give me peace if that's what you want. So there is power and there is humility and there is maturity in confessing and coming and saying, I'm sorry to a brother and sister in Christ. You should not be going years, months, days, not even hours, not coming and saying, I'm sorry. You have to get to a point where you self-reflect and point the finger at you like, like Michael Jackson. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make the change. Yeah. That's what we got to do. We got to make the change. We got to look in the mirror. We got to look in the Bible and see. It, it shows us where our heart is getting it wrong. That's why a lot of time we, we don't want to read the Bible because it reveals that our intentions of our heart ain't right. But you got to be a person of growth. Thank you, Jesus, for the people that corrected me and rebuked me. Thank you, Jesus, because I am a woman of growth. I am growing every day. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. L tell me in love. Speak the truth in love. Confess, confess your sins and also correct your brother and sister in Christ in love. You can't see your brother and sister in Christ committing a sin habitually and not say anything. That's not loving. That's not loving because sin is, is, is self-destructive to, to the soul. Sin destroys you. And that's why God hates sin because it destroys the ones he loves. Hello. Hallelujah. God is good. Okay. So anyways, the point is, is that we should, um, if, if there's somebody that uh, needs correction in your life, give it to them. And also, uh, confess your sins. When you do something wrong, be the example in your family. Come and say, I'm sorry. Um, there's power there. There's power. So hope, hopefully this helps y'all. Uh, leave a comment in the, in, in the description below, comment below, and let me know what videos would help um insight or whatever testimonies have i dealt with some kind of sin you guys know i'm super open so let me know love y'all